Greetings dear watchers, welcome to the inescapable Wyvern Trap. I already made a Wyvern Trap with pillars, but I got few comments that were saying the Wyverns were leaving that trap. Honestly, you just needed to keep the aggro and then the Wyvern should be stay there. But I started working on that trap to make it better and I ended up with this. And I am calling this an inescapable Wyvern Trap because I think this trap actually deserves that name. Alright, now let's see the build and then we're gonna trap a Wyvern. So so as always place a pillar and then change it into a beam and go four beams away unfortunately the pillar only supports three foundations so we're gonna have to place one at the end and then we're gonna go and place another one it needs to be four foundations away then pick up all the beams after that is done place four pillars on top of that one so it's gonna be five pillars high and then change the pillar into a beam and place two beams like this then go and do the other side i am also building this trap without the admin mode so you can see the build a little bit better After these two pillars are done, go to the other side and start placing beams like this. You just need to place two beams and then change it to the pillar and go up. You can place one, but you can't place any more. We're gonna have to go on top of this structure, which I'm gonna do that with stairs. If you have a flyer, you may try to go up there or just use the flyers to build the strap. All right, we need to place one more pillar each side and then we're gonna change the pillars into beams and go inwards. But here you can place as much as possible until the foundation supports ends. So you don't need to count here, just go place the beams as far as you can. If you can't get the correct snap points, you can just use the cycle button. It should give you the correct snap point. After you place all the beams on both sides, change it to pillars and go to down. Then change it to beam again and place one beam. Between these things should be two beams. Now I'm gonna do the other side. All right, now the last thing in this trap is to block the gateway for the wyvern. Just two more pillars going down here will finish the trap. All right, now this trap is finished. I'm gonna go down and show you the finished product. There we go. This is an inescapable wyvern trap and you can use another wyvern to trap a wild one. All right, just fly straight into the trap and land right inside the trap. The wild wyvern should get stuck on the pillars and fly up. Once the wild wyvern flies up and gets in the trap, it will be pretty much inescapable for the wild wyvern to leave this trap. Because wyverns fly too fast, it's gonna get stuck between two pockets it needs to stop in the middle and fly down and i think it's almost impossible for wild wyverns to get this done without help from something else like it could be a wild creature that is staying inside the trap or you need to assist the wild wyvern to locate that gap now i'm gonna stay away from this trap and speed up the time as you can see i am well over away from its aggro range and the server time is speed up to max and the wild wyvern cannot leave the trap and this trap was designed to be usable by a wyvern but if you don't have a wyvern and this is your first time trapping a wyvern i can actually recommend placing two more pillars and blocking this way entirely it will just make sure that wild wyvern cannot leave this trap going through here and it will just go up and will get stuck inside this trap easier so if you are trying to trap 
trap a wyvern with a Lymentria. You can just go through here and the wyvern will get stuck like that and eventually it will fly up. So because of the extra pillars, you can fly as low as possible. There is no possibility of wyvern going through this trap just like we did before. And once the wyvern is stuck, you can park outside of the breath range and start tracking the wyvern. But now I'm going to show you how difficult for a wild wyvern to leave this trap for that i need to activate the admin mod so i won't get killed by the fire breath there we go i'm just gonna go inside the trap and try to lure the wyvern to the gap are you seeing how difficult this is like i am actually trying to save this wyvern from this trap but it is failing to do so all right now he left the trap but then went back up he needs to go down and turn and leave there we go finally out so there you have it this is an inescapable wyvern trap inescapable for wild wyvern ai to be able to make a hundred percent inescapable trap we're gonna have to use a gateway giant door frame something like that otherwise i think this is the closest things we can get all right thank you for watching dear watchers and i'll see you on the next one